For today's video, let us talk about what is probability distribution of discrete random variable and we are going to explain everything in details. So when we say discrete probability distribution, it consists of the values of a random variable can assume and the corresponding probabilities of the values. So let's say for example, if two coins are tossed, let x be the random variable representing the number of heads that a car find the probability of each of the values of the random variable x. So if two coins are tossed, the possible outcomes are head head, head tail, tail head, and tail tail. And we are going to use this one to complete the given table. So this will be the possible outcome and this will be the number of random variable x which represents the number of heads. So as you can see, there are two heads in the first outcome and then we have one, one, and zero. So there are three possible values for the random variable x which represents the number of heads and that is 0, 1, and 2. So the probability of getting 0 head and that is 1 and then over the total number of outcomes that is 4. So we have 1, 2, 3, and 4. And the probability of getting 1 that is 2. So we have 2 over 4 and if we are going to write this one in simplest form that is 1 half. And the probability of getting 2, that is 1. So we have 1 over 4. Now let us talk about first the properties of a probability distribution. Number 1, the probability of each value of the random variable must be between or equal to 0 and 1. So if we are going to write this one in symbol, so the probability of x should be greater than or equal to 0 but less than or equal to one. That means the value of this probability should be greater than or equal to zero but less than or equal to one. Number two, the sum of the probability of all values of the random variable must be equal to one. If we are going to write this one in symbol, so the probability of x should be equal to one. That means if we are going to add this one, it will give us one. So let's say for example, one fourth plus 2 over 4 plus 1 fourth, let us copy the denominator, that is 4, 1 plus 2 plus 1, that is 4, and 4 over 4, that is 1. Always remember, the sum of the probabilities of all the values of the random variable must be equal to 1, and those are the basic concepts that you need to remember in order for us to understand what is probability distribution of discrete random variable. So let's start and let's have an example. On example number one, suppose three coins are tossed. Let y be the random variable representing the number of tails that a car. Find the probability of each of the values of the random variable y. To find the probability of each of the values of the random variable y which represents the number of tails, let us illustrate first on how we can get the sample space. So let's say for example, on the first toss, we have head and tail. On the second toss, we have head and tail. And on the third toss, we have head and tail. And let us use this illustration in order for us to identify all the sample space. So let us have the sample space. First, let us have head, 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 and then let us have head, head, tail, and then head, tail, head, and then we have head, tail, tail. And on this side, we have tail, head, head, and then tail, head, tail. And then we have tail, tail head, and then tail, tail, tail. So the sample space for this experiment that is head, 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 tail, head, tail, head, head, tail, 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 head, head, tail, head, tail, 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 head, and tail, tail, tail. And let us choose this one to complete the given table. So as you can see, we have here 
the possible outcomes and the values of the random variable y. So let us have the first outcome, which is head, 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 followed by head, head, tail, head, tail, head, and then head, tail, tail. Then we have tail, head, head, then tail, head, tail, and then we have tail, tail, head, and lastly, we have tail, tail, tail. And to complete the given table, all you have to do is to count the number of tails in each outcome in the sample space and assign a number on each outcome. So let us count the number of tails in the first possible outcome. So that is 0. And then we have 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 2, and 3. Three. So there are four possible values of the random variable y which represents the number of tails. So let us have here 0, 1, 2, and 3. Then, what is the probability of getting 0 tail? And that is 1 over the total number of outcomes that is 8. So that is 1 over 8. And what is the probability of getting exactly one tail? That is 1, 2, and 3. So we have 3 over 8. And then, what is the probability of getting exactly two tails? That is 1, 2, and 3. So we have 3 over 8. And what is the probability of getting exactly three tails? And that is 1 over the total number of outcomes that is 8. So as you can see, we have here the probability distribution of the discrete random variable y which represents the number of tails. And the last step that we are going to do is we are going to have a histogram for the discrete probability of the random variable y. And all we have to do is to plot the values of the random variable alongside with the horizontal axis. So this will be our horizontal axis and plot the probabilities alongside with the vertical axis. So this will be our vertical axis. Let's start with 0 and 1 over 8. So this is 0 and this is 1 over 8. So let us shade this one. And then we have 1 and 3 over 8. So this is 1 and this is 3 over 8. And then we have 2 and 3 over 8. So this is 2 and this is 3 over 8. And lastly, we have 3 and 1 over 8. So this is 3 and this is 1 over 8. So this is the histogram for the probability distribution of the discrete random variable y. This will be our answer. On example number two, two balls are drawn in succession without replacement from a box containing five red balls and six blue balls. Let Z be the random variable representing the number of blue balls. Find the values of the random variable Z. To find the values of the random variable Z which represents the number of blue balls, let us illustrate first on how we can find all the sample space. So let us represent B as blue balls and let us represent r as red balls so on the first draw it consists of blue and red and on the second draw we have blue and red and let us use this diagram to identify all the sample space so let us have all the sample space so let us have the first one that is blue, blue. And then we have blue, red. And then on this side, we have red, blue. And then we have red, red. So the sample space for this experiment that is blue, 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 red, red, blue, and 
red red and let us use this one to complete the given table so as you can see we have here the possible outcomes and the values of the random variable z so let us have blue blue and then blue red and then red blue and lastly we have red red and to identify the values of the random variable, all we have to do is to count the number of blue balls in each outcome in the sample space and assign a number on each outcome. So let us have the number of blue balls that is 2. And then we have 1, 1, and then we have 0. So there are three possible values of the random variable z which represents the number of blue balls. So let us have here 0, 1, and 2. So what is the probability of getting 0 blue ball? And that is 1 over the total number of possible outcomes, that is 4. And what is the probability of getting 1 blue ball? And that is 2. 2 over 4, or can be written as one half and what is the probability of getting exactly two blue balls and that is one over four so as you can see we have here the probability distribution of the discrete random variable z which represents the number of blue balls and the last step that we are going to do is to make a histogram for the probability distribution of the discrete random variable z so all we have to do is to plot the values of the random variable along with the horizontal axis. So this will be our horizontal axis and plot the probabilities along with the vertical axis. So this will be our vertical axis. So let's start with 0 and 1 fourth. So this is 0 and this is 1 fourth. So let us shade this one. And then we have 1 and 1 half. So this is 1 and this is 1 half. And then we have 2 and 1 fourth. So this is 2 and this is 1 fourth. So this will be the histogram for the probability distribution of the discrete random variable z. And this will be our answer. On our last example, the following data show the probabilities for the number of cars sold in a given data at a car dealer store. So as you can see, we have here the given table. This will be the number of cars that is from 0 to 10 and their corresponding probability. On letter A, find the probability if x is less than or equal to 2. So the value of x is less than or equal to 2. So this will be from 0 up to 2. So this will be probability of x less than or equal to 2, which is equal to probability of 0 plus probability of 1 plus probability of 2. And that is probability of getting 0, that is 0 0.100 plus 0 0.150 plus 0 0.250 and if we are going to add this one it will give us 0 0.500 so this will be the probability of getting x is less than or equal to 2. On letter b find the probability if x is greater than or equal to 7 so this is 7 up to 10 so let us have probability of x greater than or equal to 7. So let us have p of 7, p of 8, plus p of 9, plus p of 10. And let us find the value of this one. So this, this is 0 0.050 plus 0 0.040 plus 0 0.025 plus 0 0.015 and if we are going to add this one it will give us 0 0.130 so this will be the probability if 
x is greater than or equal to 7. And lastly, find the probability if x is greater than or equal to 1 but less than or equal to 5. So we are going to start with 1 up to 5. So let us have probability of x greater than or equal to 1 but less than or equal to 5. That is p of 1 plus p of 2 plus p of 3 plus p of 4 plus p of 5. So let us have p of 1 that is 0 0.150 plus 0 0.250 plus 0 0.150. 140 plus 0 0.090 plus 0 0.080 and if we are going to add this one it will give us 0 0.710 and this will be our answer so i hope you've learned from this video thank you so much for watching and god bless us all